Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you a video going over the Manatee rework that is happening today. This is very exciting. I don't think we've ever gotten a rework like this. So with that said, let's jump right into the video. The first thing you're going to notice when the patch drops today is that our talent tree has been slimmed down a bit. There are two, I believe two talents that got removed. Spirit of the Crane, which was when you're teaching the Monastery Blackout Kicks did damage. It restored mana. Uh, that's been removed. That is no longer in the game. And then you also notice, I forget the name of the talent, but the talent that gave you two charges of renewing mist that is just baseline now so you're just by default you're going to have two charges of renewing mist which is amazing for the manatee change for every twenty-five thousand mana you spend you gain one stack of manatee with a chance equal to your critical strike chance to generate one extra stack so every time again anytime you spend mana 25k mana you're going to get one stack of manatee and if you have you know a good amount of crit you should be able to get a chance to get another stack or there's a chance to get another stack in addition to this when you consume one stack of manatee you restore 3000 mana and it reduces the mana cost of your spells by 50 percent for one second per each stack of manatee consumed after drinking so what that means is if you consume five stacks of manatee you're going to get a buff for five seconds that reduces all your mana cost of your spells by 50 percent you'll see right now that i have 20 stacks of manatee you also see it on the manatee icon if i consume i don't know 10 of them so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I cancel it. I'm gonna get a 10 second buff that makes it so my, the mana cost of my spells are reduced by 50%. So I think that's gonna be the skill with this new with this new rework is consuming enough stacks where you're not gonna maybe deplete all of your stacks. Maybe you're gonna not want any stacks. I have no idea, but being able to balance that buff, I think is gonna be really important. We also have one new talent and one rework. So I'll start with life cycles. So life cycles is my favorite. It's been one of my favorite talents for a very long time. Vivify has a 20% chance to cause your next rising sun kick or enveloping mist to generate one stack of manatee. Enveloping mist and rising sun kick have a 20% chance to cause your next vivify to generate one stack of manatees. It's kind of similar to what's on live right now but it's not it's not a guarantee it's only 20 percent chance so right now on live if i use vivify i'm gonna get the the life cycles buff that reduces the mana cost of my enveloping mist but that's not the case anymore so when i vivify i just pressed it i didn't get i didn't get the life cycles buff i'm gonna keep pressing it over and over and there it is right there so now now that i have this buff my next enveloping mist or rising sun kick generates one stack of mana t so i'm gonna rising sun kick you'll see my stacks go to 14. oh my god and then i got lucky enough to my next vivify Get, get generated to stack so that's that's really good that's really really good um i think it, this talent is going to be i i like it a lot um of course it is rng right it is it's definitely rng but i think there is a lot of potential to get stacks very quickly and then we have a new talent called energizing brew so this makes it so manatee now channels 50 percent faster and generates 20 percent more mana you're going to generate less stacks but you're going to get more mana when you consume all your stacks. All right, so we're at like six stacks. Six stacks? Yeah, that should be fine. So you're going to see it's going to quickly consume the stacks. And then I get 20% more mana, which is pretty good. But it takes so long to generate stacks, which is the issue, right? Because, I mean, in PvP, maybe in PvE, it's not that big a deal because you're always going to be healing, you know, and you're going to be fine. But I swear in PvP, I think life cycles is going to be better. Because you, you're not healing the entire time. You're, you know, getting crowd control. You're running around the map. You're getting CC. You're getting CC'd. So I feel like life cycle is better for PvP and maybe energizing brew for PvE. Two questions I got are, is it purgeable? And can you kick it? And the answer to that is no. When you use your manatee, there's a shield around it. So you can't, you can't get kicked on it. You can get interrupted on it. As in, you can get stunned, CC, like cyclone, anything like that. But you can't know it. They, people cannot interrupt it, and it's not purgeable either. It's not a magic buff. It's just a just a normal buff. So you cannot you cannot get purged uh, on those stacks. One thing I do want to note as well is Manatee says that you can generate an extra stack depending on your critical strike chance, and I feel like that opens up the door to Secret Infusion actually being a really good talent. I don't know if it is or not, but you know, being able to spec into this twice, you get 16% crit when you use Thunder Focus T with Enveloping Mist. I feel like that could have some potential. I think in PvE, there's more potential for it. In PvP, I don't think we're going to be stacking crit for you know, stacks of Manatee. Maybe we will, but I, I really don't think so. I think we're going to still stick with Verse Mastery, and I think we're going to end Haste and Solo Shuffle. And then I think we're just going to... I think Life Cycle is going to be really, really good in PvP just because of how quickly... it. Of course, it is RNG, but I think of how quickly you're going to be able to 
generate stacks and just restore a ton of mana i think it's gonna be really really good and then this this is the build i'll be running in solo shuffle on the first day of the season again i'm just gonna be running pretty much the same as what i'm running now except obviously going for the manatee and life cycles talents this is what we're running in normal 3v3 and 2v2 arena as soon as the patch drops again not much is changing i'm just running manatee with life cycles and running uh tea of serenity with resplendent mist and just going straight down to tier morning or tier tier morning tier of morning because it's a really really good spell this will be what I'll be using for fist weaving. I don't think manatee is that important for fist weaving. Obviously, we need to see what it looks like now that Spirit of the Crane is gone. But I really don't see a world where you're really struggling for mana as a fist weaver. So this is what I'll be using. I, you need to take manatee, so I'll just take it as fist weaver. But outside of that, I don't think it's much of a mandatory talent. You could take like you could drop maybe Legacy of Wisdom and go Energizing Brew or put it into Nourishing Chi. But I think outside of that, this is pretty much the build I'll be running. And finally, for Mythic Plus Fist Weaving, I think this is what I'll be running pretty much most of the time. There could be some changes depending on you know what's good and bad, but I think this is what's going to be really good, taking advantage of Zen Pulse. And then I think Life Cycles is going to be really good just because you are going to be Rising Sun Kinking a lot. And then you also have Vivacious Vivification. So, you, you know, if you throw out a quick Vivify, and then you get a buff, you can just use Rising Sun Kick, get a stack of mana and it should be fine. Maybe Energizing Brew might be better, but I just, there's downtime in Mythic Plus, so I think Life Cycle is going to be better. That is pretty much it for me. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Very, very excited about this mana tea rework. I really hope it's good. I'm getting tired of losing the Holy Palace on mana. So, with that said, that is pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.